What's going on guys? Grandpa's Treasure Shop back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be covering Seto Kaiba's modernized deck profile. If Kaiba were to be playing the game today, we all know they've been releasing a lot of blue eye support. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. So first, <laughs> it's a little bit of a mismatch, but I had to include the OG blue eyes white dragon. Uh, but this is pretty standard for Seto Kaiba. He's going to play three blue eyes regardless. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get a third one of the uh, new arts. But yes, uh, <laughs> blue eyes is a staple in this deck. Uh, but then, of course, we got um, blue eyes alternative white dragon. Uh, as well as one copy of Blue Eyes Jet Dragon. So these are some of the newer cards released for uh, the Blue Eyes archetype. And anytime you hear the name Blue Eyes White Dragon, first person that comes to mind is Seto Kaiba. These cards are real fun to use. But then uh, a few other cards. He does play uh, Neo Kaiser Glider in the movie. So this is a good one. Uh, as well as Blue Eyes Solid Dragon. And then why not include Chaos Emperor Dragon of Armageddon? Since he did play the original Chaos Emperor Dragon, it's only assumed at the like that he would play this. But then, of course, you know, it wouldn't be a Kaiba deck if we didn't include his uh, one of his newer bosses, which is Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, as well as a copy of Chaos Form. I don't have a whole lot else I can include with this, um, but yeah, I do feel like one of the newer cards, um, can't even pronounce his name, but I feel like Seto Kaiba would have played this. This is like a remake of an older card, but um, it goes really well with the deck. Uh, this is a deck of all one-ofs, except <laughs> Blue Eyes and Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon, of course. I'm trying to keep it one-ofs to keep it fun and not so just overpowered he does play um aquamador in his uh deck before battle city uh and then the king of d this guy is the king of d and then we have the dictator of d he is very much a dictator in this deck uh these cards are really nice uh especially king of d he's very shiny and then we play um, Rider of the Storm Winds. These are all the more blue eyes uh, related, you know, cards such as, you know, Master with the Blue Eyes. These just support blue eyes as well as Maiden with the Eyes of Blue. This card kind of signifies the girl from the anime where Blue Eyes White Dragon originated. She was basically, Blue Eyes was like her spirit. And then we got Priest with the Eyes of Blue and Sage with the Eyes of Blue. These are definitely some blue eyes related cards, uh, as well as the White Stone of Legend. Uh, it wouldn't be a blue eyes deck if we didn't play this. Kaiba never officially played any of these cards in the anime, but that's because it ended too soon. The original, that is. But then a singular copy of White Stone of Ancients. I wish I had a secret of these, but it's okay. Just wanted to complete the deck as much as possible. And then we have Kaiser Voice Raider. Kaiser Voice Raider is a given. Um, Enraged Battle Logs, just newer versions of cards he played in the anime. And in addition, we got Reverse Jar. We all know Kaiba played Cyber Jar, so Reverse Jar just really makes sense in this. And then we do have a singular copy of Col uh, Soul Scissors. Uh, while, yes, some would argue maybe this would be like a Bakora card, we all know Kaiba was a fan of playing like fiend cards that he could utilize. Um, but then I almost just feel like Skullmeister would make sense in Kaiba's deck as well, kind of as a fiend related card. And then uh, Didi Crow. Now, Comment down below if you think this is accurate. I mean, of course, Kaiba never played these cards, but when it comes to more modernized Yu-Gi-Oh, I feel like there's some sense of hand trap or board breakers in every character profile. And I feel like Meister and Didi Crow would fit really nicely, as well as a singular copy of Effect Veiler. Uh, I do have an English version, I meant to swap it out, but Veiler just makes sense as it is a light as well. And you know, he's a spellcaster too. Now we're moving on to the spell cards. So some of the newer ones that are really cool, we have uh, Bingo Machine Go. Uh, we all remember this from uh, Battle City when they were on the blimp, figuring out who they had to play. Card is really cool. As well as Dual Tower. This is technically where they hosted the um, semifinals and the finals of Battle City. Uh, and then they turned it to a card that was technically never played. But then uh, we have Greater Polymerization. If anybody would abuse this card, it's probably Seto Kaiba. Uh, I mean, tell me, tell me what your take is on on some of these card choices. But they are all one ofs, just to maintain a decent card amount in the deck. Uh, do play a single copy of Trade In. I feel like with all the big level eights, he probably would play a copy of this. Uh, and then we have Ultimate Fusion. This is a new Blue Eyes card. Uh, it's actually pretty good. Uh, it allows you to shuffle uh, into your deck for for the um, materials. So that's actually really good. Uh, we do have Successor Soul, another you know Blue Eyes archetype card. 
Uh, so yeah, these uh, cards are pretty good. Now, onto some of the newer ones as well. We do have Spell Card Soul Exchange. Card's really cool, and uh, this card was kind of built for Kaiba's deck. And then we have Vision with the Eyes of Blue. Same thing. Uh, and then as well as Rage with the Eyes of Blue. Uh, these are all fun cards with uh, amazing artworks. So, um, yeah, no, I'm really excited to complete more of these kind of decks. Uh, now to some of the common uh, spells. We have Interdimensional Matter Transporter uh, Forwarder. I think it's real cool they're recreating some cards, uh, even though they're kind of completely different, but I feel like this is within the archetype of Kaiba. Mausoleum of the White. Uh, this is just another Blue Eyes related card. And then, of course, uh, one copy of Beckon of White. Another Kaiba related card. None of these were played in the anime, but yeah, I think it fits very well. Uh, of course, we have Majesty with the Eyes of Blue. I feel like this just goes hand in hand with the deck, as well as uh, Neutron Blast. Uh, card might end up dead in the deck if you draw it, but hey, I mean, there's a lot of cards they play from the anime that are probably in the same kind of category. Uh, cards of Consonance. I mean, sure, there's a pretty decent amount of cards that could uh, complement this pretty well. And then on to some of the retro spells that Kaiba probably would still play, and that is Polymerization. <laughs> card is just gets better over time. Uh, we have Graceful Charity. Pretty much any of these kind of anime modernized decks would play that, as well as Pot of Greed. I mean, why wouldn't they? If we're playing all one-ofs majority, um, you know, these cards just kind of make the decks a little bit more fun, and um, they're not overly broken, so I feel like they just kind of add a little bit of spice. Uh, and then we do have another card, uh, True Light. It's almost like the Eternal Soul for Blue Eyes Archetype. Kaiba would definitely probably play this card, as well as the Ultimate Creature of Destruction. A lot of these artworks are just amazing. Um, but then we have a Different Dimension Derby. Different Dimension Derby uh, really is kind of like a Kaiba card in modern day. Um, but not too many traps. I wish they had a modernized version of Crush Card, but they don't yet. And that's okay. It'll probably come soon. And then onto the extra deck, we have a copy of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Don't think this will ever leave the deck. I do not have the new version of this. The, I think it's called the Ultimate Dragon of Destruction or something along those lines. Uh, but then we have Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. He did play, I'm pretty sure he played something similar to this in um, the Dragon arc, Wake of the Dragons. Uh, but then another one of my favorite newer cards is Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. This card is really cool. If they finally created a card uh, where you could just fuse two blue eyes. This would have been a game changer in the anime because he wouldn't have had to sack everybody with drawing all three blue eyes plus polymerization. It would have seemed more realistic to fuse two. And then I almost feel like Kaiba probably would have played this card, Trishula, Dragon of the Icy Imprisonment. Plus it adds a little bit of spice to this deck. It kind of makes it a little more fun, if I'm being honest. It's not hard to bring out in this kind of deck. And then we do have some synchros here. We have a blue eyes spirit dragon. Uh, and then Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. And then a card that probably most wouldn't expect, but uh, Dimension Soldier. But the more you think about this card, this very much probably would be in Kaiba's deck, if I'm being quite honest with you. Um, there are some cards in the extra deck that um, I haven't obtained yet, but hey, work with what we got. And then we have Drago Tuno Finale. Uh, well, this is a foreign card. I don't even remember the original name, but hey, you know, I would always uh, look it up if I needed to. Uh, number 38, Hope Harbinger of Titanic Galaxy. This card is really spicy and still good and relevant in some instances of today's meta. Uh, last but not least, we have Five-Headed Link Dragon and then Heratic Seal of the Heavenly Sphere. Now, this card is pretty. This is uh, all I have so far of Kaiba's deck. Uh, I am going to be <laughs> listing this deck on my uh, eBay. Uh, I'm trying to work towards uh, opening a card shop one day and um, working really hard towards it. Just mainly because I want to be a very reliable source for players to be able to um, freely get all the cards they need and have a place they can play. That way I can find a good way to contribute to the community. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And please, if you could, just like, comment, subscribe um, to me and my channel and on this video. Just because, you know, I'm trying to grow and, you know, it's never easy. But with your support, we can accomplish anything. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, this is Grandpa's Treasure Shop reporting out.